All right, we're live for Fireside Chat number 234. So, got a couple of announcements for today. Um, number one, we have a new uh, Sea of Thieves channel and Sea of Thieves players role, and you can get that and get roles. That is all set up. So, if you play that game or are interested, check it out. Number two, um, just a heads up, if you're interested in the clan's uh, history or lore, um, there's a few channels you can check out. So you'll see announcements. I just announced this as well. Um, but the About WA channel is a good place to start. has a lot of information on just how WA works currently or organization, um, you know, how things like houses and families work, all the different houses and families and special forces units that currently exist in the clan uh, and so on. Um, but you can also check out the library channel. Um, there's the library category, and under that there's the library channel and also the Dayneta and New Edda channels. Dayneta and New Edda are the kind of songs and stories and lore of the clan, basically, whereas library is more history. So there's a lot of old charts in there, old artwork, uh, coats of arms, um, information um, on different organizations that have existed in the past in WA, information on the Honor Yar, etc. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, do check it out. Um, I've been kind of on the subject because, um, shout out to Bassivald has been doing a ton of work um, digging up lineage, and we are currently working on expanding, heavily expanding the WA lineage record which is essentially just a spreadsheet where we try to list um, basic information about every WA member that has ever been in the clan. That's probably an unrealistic goal, but we're hoping to have at least a lot of members on there. Um, so it can be useful for uh, reference and just record keeping purposes. Um, mostly the information we're looking at is um, their name, any other names they went by, their house, their family, um, their recruitment date, if possible, their recruiter and um, their highest known rank uh, for the most part. I think I think Bicevold's actually been gathering information on the divisions they were a part of at some point too. So that might be something we add, we'll see. Um, don't wanna make things get out of hand too complicated, but that's kind of a cool project that we have been uh, working on. As part of that, we put together a rank translation guide as well which basically lists all the known ranks throughout WA history that have existed and tries to kind of align them such that, okay, you know, fleet admiral, equivalent to emperor, equivalent to high king, uh, and so on, um, going all the way down the ranks. Um, you know, not all of them line up perfectly, but it gives you a rough idea. So that's a cool project we've been working on. Um, other than that... Um, so I'm planning on kind of making some announcements just to kind of plug things on the server in the future as well. Um, so I I guess I will just once again plug now the job board channel also under the library. Um, do check that out. There's lots of stuff, projects you can help out with in WA that we could um, really use some help with. And if you want to get promoted um, or assist the clan, that is the number one place to start. Um, I'll just shout out a couple of my most recent posts on there. We're currently looking for social media people. So um, that would be to help run some of WA's social media stuff like our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and also our uh, subreddit on Reddit. And also our Twitch, Twitch channel here as well. Um, again, basically how we have it set up is that uh, if you'd like... If you're a WA member and you stream on Twitch, we'll just auto-host you here on the WA Twitch. And we can even give you some cool graphics and stuff. If you would like to put those up, you're not required to do that. But if you want to put a little WA logo up on your stream or put a WA Discord invite link or website link or anything like that in your stream on the channel or on your stream itself, of course you can do that. Um, if you want to set it up yourself, you can, but um, we have those resources available for you too. Uh, if you're interested, and uh, finally, let's see. Um, I will just remind everyone that Asilva is currently looking for staff, particularly for um, her her duties as a Commodore. 
um, primarily the new ones being contacting guests and reservists about either joining the clan or returning to active duty, and also contacting enlisted members. Basically, you know, if they're inactive, trying to kind of, you know, see what's going on and try to get them to pro get promoted um, by providing them with information on like, okay, what do you have to do to get to the next rank? Here's what you have to do. Um, all that kind of stuff. So um, if you're interested in any of that, we could definitely use help um, with that. So contact Asilva for that. Um, let's see. Some of this stuff I'm going to put in future announcements as well, but I'll just kind of give a spoiler for those listening to the uh, fireside. Um, some stuff we were talking about in the Council of Houses recently, um, kind of in the process of all this sort of uh, history and archive diving we've been doing, um, I kind of stumbled across some old ideas, um, institutions that we've had over the years that have been brought back and then gotten rid of, brought back again, gotten rid of again, etc. cetera. Um, one would be a duchies and or minor houses. So um to put it in a nutshell, essentially, these are mini houses. Um, they are intermediate steps between having a family and having your own house, um, which could be cool um, and quite nice, especially for people that maybe want to, you know, if you recruit a lot for your family and your family gets really big, um, but maybe you kind of like your original house, you don't necessarily want to just make a new house, and the requirements can be a bit steep too. It can be difficult to do. Um, it can be kind of an intermediate step where you kind of have that accomplishment and can even sort of flesh out your own identity more uh, as a group without necessarily jumping overboard and leaving your house behind and potentially leaving traditions or night orders or such uh, that you are a part of uh, behind as well. So that's something we're talking about. Um, another one is uh, family changes. So... Um, Basically, something we were talking about is how lineage works currently is that um, if if somebody is a member of a, a family, normally all of the recruits have to be part of that family. That's kind of the way we've been doing it. Um, but basically, looking back through lineage, we have found some examples of cases where you had um, a recruiter be part of a family but only some of their recruits were part of that family, um, chiefly due to the family being defined by some particular thing. Um, like, for example, House, the case we were looking at is originally the Athling family of House Kilroy. So um, how this family started was it was actually used to designate people that were part of the original clan Jade Falcon uh, group on Mech Assault 2, which existed before they actually joined WA. That's kind of the origins of House Kilroy. Um, so people who are, you know, athlings years after um, Clan Jade Falcon joined up with WA and became House Kilroy um, were people who were part of that original unit. So you had recruits from Kilroy. Kilroy himself was, of course, an athling, and some of his recruits were because the people he had recruited into Clan Jade Falcon. But then you had other recruits of Kilroy himself who were not technically athlings. Um, because they weren't, even though they were recruits of Kilroy, they weren't part of that original unit. So you see there's kind of a, di uh, a distinction between some of Kilroy's recruits and other of Kilroy's recruits. So it kind of creates an interesting opportunity. I mean, it's something we could just ignore and say, ah, whatever. But I think it's interesting to talk about because you can potentially say, well, okay, with that in mind, would it be possible to, for example, make a new family um, and not take necessarily your own recruiter with you and also not take all of of your recruiters recruits with you or take your recruiter with you but not all of their recruits uh with you is what i should say um maybe maybe i mean changing things like the way lineage and these traditions work is definitely i mean it's a uh, it's kind of a big thing, so I'm always very hesitant to make even even minute changes to that. But um, I think talking about it is certainly harmless, and in this case, there's some precedent for it. And it's uh, so yeah, I think it's um, it's an interesting idea um, to discuss for sure. And uh, finally, another one is um, basically this idea of what we'd call an honor system um, for. 
both individual members, but also houses and families. So basically how this would work is it's basically points, more or less. Honor is kind of a currency that you would get. Now, maybe we could merge this with the Yarna system we already have. Maybe not. Maybe have it be separate. But the idea being that this would lend a little bit more purpose to houses and families beyond just kind of cool lineage. Um, how So how would you earn these points? Basically, there's kind of a couple options. One option would be that for getting a recruit or getting a promotion um, or maybe uh, attending an event or submitting a sit rep, a report, or uh, performing a duty. Things like that would maybe get you points. And maybe getting in trouble would lose you points. Um, would honor, um, would get you honor or lose you honor, essentially. Um, so that's an interesting idea. Um, another option, the, the downside of that is, as I've told the Council of Houses, that that would require a massive amount of tracking. I mean, we're talking about tracking every single person attending every event performing a duty anytime somebody does something like that we have to have somebody that notes it down keeps track of all of that happening and puts it all together um, by constantly updating the honor values and such we could try to do some kind of bot integration but at some level you're going to need um, people actually uh, uh, doing that you need somebody is actually going to need to be behind the wheel so um, pros and cons to that a second system would be uh, potentially um, simply having basically house tournaments or house events that are hosted by an individual house or perhaps the clan as a whole um, varying the your thing probably being the grandest of these but we could establish smaller ones um, that are not necessarily open tournaments the way the your thing is they could be limited to a specific game and they could also potentially be bracketed tournaments where you're kind of placed into a bracket and sort of you have to fight your way uh, to the top and it's kind of single elimination bracket. And essentially winning those or getting victories or even participating might earn you uh, honor in that way. And that would be a lot easier to track um, and it would be kind of cool because you could hold events that would also even count as events on a specific game too uh, for the traditional chain of command and platoons and such, uh, which could be cool. Um... Also, the idea with honor is um, there would be a sort of, you would have your personal honor level, but also a family and house honor level. Um, and it, we'd have to see, potentially, that could simply be the sum of everyone in that house's honor. Or it could be that people have to sort of donate their honor to their house in order to increase it. And they kind of lose their personal honor, but increase their houses as sort of a, like you're depositing it into the bank or, um, yeah, donating it in that way. So, um, yeah, that's kind of an interesting idea. Um, last thing is new YouTube playlists are out. One of them is a Fireside Chat playlist that currently has all Fireside Chats in order from number one all the way through number 233. And 234 here will be added uh, after this. Um, and there's also a new WA uh, Viking mostly metal uh, song playlist, too. Um, so if you're interested in if you're into that kind of music, um, do check that out. It's pretty small right now, but we're kind of adding to that uh, for fun. Uh, that should about do it, though. So I'll be around for office hours uh, shortly. <laughs>